Hey guys, it's Queen Ang from the IELTS Workshops. You know, it has just been two vlogs and I'm literally out of ideas of what to talk to you guys about. And I was just thinking and thinking and something popped up and I knew that's it. This is something that I'm really good at and this is something that I want to share with you all about. And guess what? It's being alone. So I'm speaking from a very personal perspective, but I know that as humans, we always desire that human warmth. And we want to constantly be involved in relationships, be it romantic ones or just friendships in general. I do agree that it is of great importance that we have someone that we could really click with and someone that we could just confide in and tell them our darkest secrets. However, there are times when I feel like too much importance could be placed on being with others that some of us might even neglect the fact that everyone needs time to themselves. I think that whether we like to be by ourselves or be with others, it's just a matter of preference and the way we perceive being alone. Some of us rejuvenate by having people's company and socializing, while others revitalize by being by themselves and just isolating themselves from the rest of the human race. I don't know about you guys, but I think that I'm somewhat in between. As the only child, I have no siblings, so I love bonding with my friends. That is just a great mood lifter. However, when there's just so many things going on and I'm like, screw this, I'm done. And that's when I revert back to my lone self. There are two reasons why I appreciate my time alone so much. The first reason is that being alone, it's a great way to self-reflect. As an only child, I'm not used to letting people have an edge over me in arguments. So when I do get into arguments, I may not be able to contain my temper. That's why I make sure I would spare myself some time to calm down and to look back on my actions. Eventually, I may realize I could have restrained myself a little bit more. And that's how I learn from my mistakes and grow as a person. The second reason is that being alone, it's like a remedy to me. Whenever I feel disheartened or doubtful about myself, I would make sure to spend some time alone and give myself a pep talk. You know that when we're depressed, Friends and family members could give us the most beautiful compliments and somehow we can still manage to feel bad about ourselves. I've learned that the only way to get back on track again is actually to regain self-confidence. And my way of doing so is to think about the positive things that people say about me, all the accomplishments that I've made, and I succeeded every single time. So yeah, that's basically everything that I want to share with you today. Before I end this vlog, I just want to emphasize that don't feel bad about being alone or being left alone. Make the best of it. Besides, if you ever feel like your friends have been acting cold towards you lately, don't be mad at them because you never know. They may just need some time to themselves. Okay, so thank you a lot for watching until the end of this vlog. This is Vin Kling Ang from the IELTS Workshop. Bye! I am going to talk about the latter in this video. When talking about the pros of starting a career,